Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Another episode of the Weekend Recap. Picked up a decent amount of stuff this weekend, as you can see here. Uh, cards, toys, novelties alike. Got a lot of stuff here. We're going to rip open a box of 97 Fleer tonight, too. So I appreciate you all joining us. And welcome to the stream. So we've got a lot, uh, a lot more cards, more boxes. And a lot of TMNT stuff, too, for all you uh, Turtles fans out there. Picked up uh, all this at the flea market. Went to a few places yesterday and then went out again today with Eric uh, to a card shop and to a flea market as well. So we'll dive right in here. So welcome to the stream. First thing I picked up, I thought this was pretty neat. Picked this up yesterday for 10 bucks. You guys might have saw recently where I bought, I think, 10 packs of these. Um, I think for a quarter a piece and actually put the whole set together. These are 1993 Fleer Atlantic uh, baseball cards. These are pretty cool. You don't really see these too often, but these are 10 individual sets. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Picked these up to give away at some point or maybe even for Patreon packages. Kind of a set, oddball set you don't really come by too often, so I thought that was kind of neat. Hey, hey Rob, welcome to the stream. Saw the turtle stuff and had to pop in. Yeah, got some good uh, good haul on turtle stuff today, vintage turtle stuff. Always a big turtles fan whenever I was younger, so I uh, really enjoy coming across that stuff. As Sal says, what is my favorite 90s set? Um, off the top of my head, I'd say 91 Bowman, which might strike you as a surprise, but I love the 91 Bowman set. We're actually going to do um, the next break for Turn Back to Clock Tuesday. It's going to be two boxes of 91 Bowman. There's so many good rookie cards in that set. I always like the design. Uh, it's really nostalgic for me in general. So we're going to do two boxes of those. Those will go live on Patreon tonight after this video at some point. And we have a $5 Super Chat right off the bat from Jonathan H. That says, Super Chat for Brittany for supporting your addictions. I mean hobbies. Thank you so much, Jonathan H. I really appreciate that. I'm not sure if you have a channel or not, but please go click on that Super Chat and check him out. Give him a sub. And I will do the same thing. I know you guys like doing giveaways, so we're going to continue to give away things tonight um, for Super Chat donations. Every $10, we give away something. So I have some things set aside for you guys tonight via Kahoot. We ask quiz questions, and we give away cards. And I even have a little board here. Um, I'm out until next giveaway, 5 bucks. So thank you very much for that, Jonathan H. I really appreciate it. Uh, Brittany's definitely an awesome... Uh, girlfriend uh, for supporting my hobbies and putting up my crap and my hoarding almost but moving right along a lot of stuff to look at here more packs these were I think four for a buck picked these up today more Atlantic actually these are 94 unlike the other one the sets that I picked up 93 I send those along to subscribers here and there and also use them for patreon packages 89 tops 94 Atlantic and I thought this is a pretty good deal found this yesterday too 99 per deck box series 2 for 12 bucks so couldn't pass that one up. Love finding the late 90s boxes, especially when they're under 20 bucks. Thought that was a great deal. Probably some decent inserts and whatnot in there. So that's probably gonna be part of a break at some point in the future. I got a lot of different boxes um, to throw into a 10 box mixer break we'll be doing sometime in the future, uh, coming up here pretty soon. And here's another one that I couldn't pass on. It's a 1999 Paramount Baseball um, Pacific box. And this is only 10 bucks too. So this will probably be thrown into a break as well but 10 bucks for you know late 90s boxes i will take those every day of the week and another five dollar super chat from jonathan h says i do have a channel formerly known as autistic family here's another five for the giveaway thank you so much jonathan h please check him out i do recognize you jonathan h now i do uh, know your channel i'm familiar with it um give him a sub i believe i'm subbed to you already but if i'm not i will definitely um do that after the stream's over and let's go ahead and pull up kahoot here and put these boxes aside for the time being jgw says are you doing giveaways we're actually doing one right now so let me fix this kahoot uh if you guys are familiar with it if you have it download the app and um and or go on your pc first card we're gonna give away i actually picked this one up um yesterday i thought this was pretty cool never saw this card before but i figured you guys would appreciate it I'm going to give this one away. This time around, you only have to answer one question. This is a, uh, I think this is a 2014 Topps George, Brella, George Brett uh, relic card here, uh, commemorating his 1975 Topps rookie card. So I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to give this one away. 
So there's the pin right here, 508474. And um, thank you again very much, Jonathan H. Please give him a sub. Appreciate all the Super Chat giveaways. Jonathan H says, I don't play, just sponsor the giveaways. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate it. And we have eight players uh, in here now, now nine. Hey, Danny and Grace. I love how they always say naughty nicknames beware. All right, we get it. 15 people in here uh, entering for the George Brett Relic. I think this car is pretty sick. Like I said, I've never seen this before. Um... Pretty stoked on that, so happy to give it over to you guys. Got a lot of people in here tonight, 22 people. And wait a few more seconds, and then we will go ahead with the first question. So you only have to answer one question, right? Before I had you had to answer two questions. I reduced that to only one question from now on. It's just easier. Plus, it takes time to think of questions and type them in and browse for pictures and everything else. So we'll just do one question, make it simplistic. 26 people in here. And Travis Dotson says, I just got two Fleur Ultra 97 and got the David Ortiz rookie rookie air card pack fresh. That's awesome. I'm actually kind of uh, bummed out because the 97 Fleur that we're going to break tonight, I didn't realize it before, but David Ortiz is number 512, and the retail boxes that I bought are only 1 through 500. I was like, oh, that sucks. We're still going to break it anyways, rip the packs open. There's still a bunch of insert cards we can pull, so we're going to have fun regardless. And check those out. All right, so we got 27 people in here. We're going to get started with question number one. So, whoever gets this first question right, you'll win the George Brett. Ghostbusters 2 was released in what year? 87, 88, 89, and 1990. And please do not um, type the answers in on the chat. I'm going to make this fair for everyone. WVJJ says 65. The proper answer was 1989. And William, you got that one right. William came first. Bobby Cox again, a.k.a. Paul and Dixon. Um, William, you got it right. The George Brett Relic Card's coming to you. Uh, send me an email with your info, and I will get that sent out to you tomorrow or the next day. Appreciate the super chats. Jonathan H., thank you very much. I said every 10 bucks, we will do another giveaway. That's okay, Danny. No worries. Just want to make it fair for everyone. Hope you guys all had a good weekend. Maybe you guys went out and found some cool stuff. Hype is here, Collectibles. Welcome to the stream. He says, kind of pointless for me to play. Apparently my stream is so far behind. The question expires before I hear you say it. Huh, that's pretty crazy. Lidsman, my email is in all the previous videos. It's linked in the description for every single one. Hey, what's up, Sport Card Collector? So moving right along here. Uh, the next one I picked up today, I'm um, in a place in Altuda called Juniata Cards. Um, little card shop. It has a ton of stuff, ton of inventory. Real nice owner there, Steve. Um, couldn't pass this card up. I've always seen this before in the past and always enjoyed it and always wanted to own it for my personal collection. Um, he had an $18 price tag on it. He gave it to me for 15 bucks. So this is a PSA 5, 68 Tops Rod Crew. I love the 68 Tops set. And this is always a pretty iconic card. When I was growing up, I always wanted to own it, like I said. Um, so finally, um, got it today, which is pretty sick. I don't think it's really that bad. Like I said, I don't really care too much if these older cards, you know, have a little bit of bum corners or whatever. This one mostly, a big reason is it, uh, it's off center pretty bad. The corners aren't too bad, uh, for my liking at least, but that was a pretty cool, uh, Rod Carew card there. 68 tops for 15 bucks. I will take it, especially one that I've wanted to own for a long time. Thank you guys for all joining us tonight. The next thing I picked up, which I don't know if you guys will care too much, but um, this is a pretty iconic skateboarding video from 2000 from Transworld. IE used to love this video when I was younger. This was two bucks, and the weird thing about this, it's like a paper copy. It's not even in a um, uh, DVD case. So I never saw this before. Had to buy it. I'm um, not sure if I'm going to keep that in my PC or flip it, but uh, if any of you guys ever see that video, I used to watch it all the time. I used to really enjoy it. Pretty stoked on that. And then the same flea market today, which I thought this was really sick. I don't have any of these guys. Street Sharks. How many of you guys remember this from uh, your childhood? 1994. 
um, these were released. So the show ran from 94 to 97. But um, these toys, if you have any, uh, either hang on to them or pitch, you know, sell them and make yourself a pretty penny. I paid five bucks for this guy. He usually sells for about 30 bucks. This is Jab uh, from the, the TV series and also the toy line, but Jab the Hammerhead. So pretty sweet. Pretty uh, excited to have finally have a Hammerhead figure, or actually a street shard figure, especially Hammerhead. And a two-dollar super chat from Austin Farmer. It says, recovering from surgery. Love the channel. Thanks, John. Thank you, Austin. Hopefully everything is alright with you if you had surgery. I wish you all the best. Really appreciate those super chats, man. My girlfriend's in here and says, nice super chat, Austin. Get well soon. Yeah, definitely get well soon, Austin. John Wentz says, best BMX movie, Brad. I remember Brad. That was a good one. And then also, on top of that, uh, I've had really good luck. I know Chris Weaver knows about it because he's mentioned it before as well, but uh, I purposely went back to this antique mall where I keep finding these Desert Shield cards yesterday in hopes of finding these, and I found two more. My brother's in here. Hey, Eric. Two more Desert Shield cards, which is pretty sick, and the price tag on these is only 4 bucks. and, I mean... No really big names, John Candelaria and Gary Reedus, but still, these cards are so rare, and I now have, I actually have the other ones with me right now, I have five of these now, which is pretty sick, so I got Bobby Bow recently, I picked up Jim Leland for five bucks, I think, recently, and also this Wade Boggs, which is really, really nice, this was seven bucks, the exact same place, but the Desert Shield cards with the emblem there, these are very, very rare, so if you see these, you might want to pick them up if they're a good price. A lot of these were lost overseas during the war, so not a whole lot of them made it back. So I'm I'm, I'm determined to uh, collect the entire set. They were not randomly inserted in packs. They were only given away to members of the military during Operation Operation Desert Storm in '91. So a lot of them were uh, didn't make it back. They were destroyed during the war. So pretty awesome. I've been finding those a lot lately. I'm pretty stoked about that. So that was another pickup, Desert Shield cards, and then picked up this randomly. 92 Fleur Ultra. Probably give these away to people and stuff for breaks or Patreon. I'm going to be beefing up my Patreon here pretty soon. I'm going to be making different tiers. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I haven't got around to it yet. We're going to make different tiers and then uh, have pack lots and all kinds of other stuff in there. So keep an eye out for that. And then first TMNT thing I'll show you here, this bootleg uh, TMNT watch for Michelangelo. I've picked these up before in the past and I've like flipping them. Um, they're uh, kind of ghetto. Every one of these I've ever seen, they're all stapled on. And as you can see, it just says Karate Turtles Watch. So it's not even like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's just Karate Turtles. So it's a bootleg, and there's no backing, no text to the backing, nothing else. These usually sell for about 20 bucks, somewhere around there. I got I got this for 2 bucks, so I couldn't beat that. And uh, the card's pretty nice on it, too. And another Super Chat from Jonathan H. For 10 bucks that says Super Chat to make Eric jealous and get get people another giveaway i'll have to start sending you fan mail friday as well eric has two separate ones uh coming including a special one tomorrow cards or toys thank you so much jonathan h for your generosity i really appreciate that man um whatever you want to send man i am uh i'm fine with it e either one and uh please put a note in there and let me know what uh, you collect so i can get something out to you as well when you do send one really appreciate those super chats please give him a sub and Every 10 bucks, we do a quiz and a giveaway. So let me get this ready here. And here's another $10 Super Chat from Bill Seitz. It says, hey, John, hope you had a great weekend. Thank you so much, Bill Seitz. Really, really appreciate that, man. Very, very generous of you. Bill Seitz always comes in with the $10 Super Chats. And we're doing two back-to-back -back giveaways now on Kahoot. So um, everyone get ready. William won the previous one, sent me an email. The next card we're going to give away, um, another one, I, I like this one a lot too. This is 1972 Topps, Willie Starge, old boyhood photo of the Stars card. And it's in pretty decent shape too. So I like these older vintage cards. Willie Stargell. So I think it's a pretty nice one to give away. Um, get ready. Get your phones ready. Get your computer ready. Because the next question we're going to do here, actually, let me exit out of this. So you guys should be, you guys should still be able to play. Can you still see this screen? Skip it. Okay. Are you able to, to still be logged in? 
or we have to refresh it. We try to go back here because this thing kind of got stupid. Okay, so here's a pin. Five zero eight four seven four, and this is for Willie Stargell, seventy two tops. Never saw this car before uh, until recently, so not in uh, not in terrible shape either. Corners aren't the best, but they're also not awful either. That's a nice card. But we have 15 people in here now for the Kahoot giveaway for Willie Stargell. Well, thank you guys all again for joining us. Really appreciate your generosity, um, Eric. Really shouldn't. Play. I mean, Eric, I mean, Eric, actually, Eric can play if he wants to. These are all trivia questions, so uh, they're a mixture of toy toy questions and also baseball card questions uh, from the '80s and '90s. And my brother says super chats on fire tonight so far. Are you doing the case goal tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, we can. I have a, a, a six-box case of 90 Fleer I was going to give away, but uh, um, usually there's about 60 bucks, maybe a little more, and then the shipping on those is pretty expensive. So if we get up to, if we get, you know, over 100 bucks, well over 100 bucks, then uh, we'll eventually give uh, away the six-box case of 90 Fleer with the infamous Jose Uribe card in it. But uh, we got 31 people in here now, so... Yeah, this is stupid. I guess they make you do the questions individually. Otherwise, you have to go through them again, which we already did this one. So we're going to back out of that altogether. Okay, second question. What baseball card brand produced the original Michael Jordan baseball card? Was it Clutter's Choice, Upper Deck, Tops, or Score? 15 seconds. The original Michael Jordan baseball card. 29 answers. And Bobby Cox, you got it. It was uh, Upper Deck, 1991. It was a short print card. So, Upper Deck. And he also had Upper Deck rookie card in 94. But the 91 short print is not considered his rookie card. He used to always want that card real bad. Bobby Cox, a.k.a. Paul, you have won the Willie Stargell, so congratulations. Send me an email. Oh, John Went, you were Bobby Cox. My fault on that. Yeah, send me an email. I'm pretty sure I have your info because I think you won before, but uh, send me an email and uh, I'll get it sent out to you. Chet Lemon, welcome to the stream. He says, I thought I hit it quick, John, before the question was even asked. Chris Weaver says, good job, John. Congrats. <laughs> Paul says, I was not Bobby Cox. I think you were last time, weren't you? And then um, we have we had two ten dollar super chats. So the next card we're gonna give away is another very iconic card. Barry Bonds, eighty seven tops rookie card. Love this card so much. I think we gave it away before. Paul says I was John Hudek last time. That's what it was. Um, Bonds, eighty seven tops rookie card. Trent says you have to reset everything to do it this way. Yeah, I'm not really sure why it does that. It's really stupid. Um, we'll go back. We'll go the whole way back. This is really annoying me. I guess you have to... You got to do every single one individually. Otherwise... Let me fix this. Guido's Neighborhood says, I just found that Bonds card in a 10 cent bin at my local flea market. I was kind of psyched. I'd be psyched about that too. Hey, Adam Yoder, welcome to the stream. So it's refreshed again. We got more people in here. And we are going to give away a Barry Bonds rookie card, 87 tops. Thanks to Jonathan H. and Bill Seitz. 
Eric, how do I do that? New game pin each time. I mean, I created one quiz and figured I can do the questions individually, but um, it, it's linking them all together, which is really annoying. Let me let me pull this aside real quick and figure this crap out. I did make a separate quiz because I guess it will let you put five questions in each quiz. Which what I what I did last time is I made them all individually, which I should have done again this time, but I didn't think it would really matter. I wanted to link them all together and just do them one at a time, but wouldn't let me do that. So we're gonna move right along and start this next one. Hey Fawns, welcome to the stream. Five eight nine 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 four. For the Bonds 87 Tops rookie card. For the third giveaway tonight, due to your guys' awesome generosity. Giveaway number three already. Hey, Darren Comfort, welcome to the stream. Um, we got nine people in here now. 589994, Barry Bonds 87 Tops rookie card. And Bobby Cox is in here again, 11 players. 14, 15. 22, we'll give it a few more seconds and then we will start the quiz. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Um, the way that work works out, I'll keep that in mind for next time. Hype is here, collectible says, I'm gonna sit this one out since I put the prior pin in and it freaked out. And here's a $10 super chat from Dan Schultz that says, hope all is going well. Austin, feel better. Thank you so much, Dan Schultz. Dan Schultz is an awesome dude, a uh, great friend of the channel. Sends us fan mail Friday, every single Friday, and it's always an amazing package. Thank you so much, Dan. I really appreciate that. So we will do this one, and then we'll have to do another giveaway uh, after that. Everyone wishes Austin well. We have 31 people in here, so let us, 32, want to start the quiz here. I know there's a lag, so go ahead and start. So this one's only one question. All right, what year was pitcher Dave Stewart's rookie card? Was it 1980, 1981, 1982, or 83? Already 22 answers. 10 seconds left. Ghost faces, I hope you feel better, Austin. And the time is up. It was 1982. And who got it? And Jose Rijo is the winner of that one. Jose Rijo, you won the Bonds 87 Top 3 card. Please send me an email with your info, and I will send that out to you as soon as I can. Appreciate you guys participating, and thank you for the super chats. Chris Weaver says, congrats, Jose Rijo. 1982 is Dave Stewart's rookie year. A rookie card, I believe. Um, so, moving right along. The next thing I picked up today was this pretty cool uh, Turtles tray. TV tray, actually. From 1988. This was only two bucks. I don't know if I ever had this one or not, but couldn't pass on it. Two bucks. Oh, Rob Cash, I think I have your info, but just send me an email again anyways uh, with what you won and also your address because I get so many emails. Um, so just so I have it. Hype is here. Says I yelled that out angrily. Does that count? John Wentz says congrats, Rob Money. Thanks, Rob. Congrats to you on the Barry Bonds 87 Tops rookie. Hunter says love that TMNT tray. Yeah, I love it too. It's the uh, old school style Turtles from 88. So I don't really care for the new TMNT stuff. It's just, I don't know, the, the figures are all square heads and everything else. I can't stand it. The fonts is I had a Dukes, Dukes of Hazard tray like that. It's pretty awesome. My brother used to love uh, Dukes of Hazard back in the day. And Ghostface says, my mom put Charlie the Rookie Dog in a one-touch. Thank you for the cards. I really appreciate it. That's awesome, man. Trent says, that's an awesome tray. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that pickup. Uh, for two bucks, too, it's pretty sick. Um, these generally sell for like, I don't know, around 30 bucks or so on eBay. So I couldn't pass it up. Had a pretty good day for TMNT stuff, as you can see. Picked up a lot of it. I usually don't come across it very often. And uh, you see right off the bat here, I also picked up this really sick TMNT sleeping bag 
which definitely needs a washing. This was two bucks, or two or three bucks, I can't remember. I think the lady said three bucks. Um, really good deal for that too. It's been really another 30 or 40 dollar item there after it gets washed from 89, I believe it is. It's a pretty sick uh, sleeping bag. There are old neighborhood friend definitely used to have that. And here's a five dollar super chat from Austin Farmer. It says, thanks guys for the support. I appreciate it greatly. This time around has been much smoother. Getting to miss my 8 a.m. classes are the best part. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Thank you so much, Austin. I appreciate it. I bet that is the best part about it, is missing your 8 a.m. classes. I know any time that I have anything going on um, that early at work is uh, terrible. I hate it. I dread it. I dread getting up that early. I can only imagine how my brother feels. He's up at like 4.30 or 5 every single day. But, like I said before, um, these 97 Fleer boxes, kind of bummed because I didn't realize that when I bought them. 500 card basic set so david ortiz is number 512 he's in series two didn't realize that i was like wow these are crazy these guys selling these boxes for five bucks a piece like does he not know that david ortiz rookie cards in there well he definitely knew that it wasn't in there that's why they're five bucks but still uh you still pull in good insert cards out of these i can't remember what 97 flirting looks like honestly that was like the end of my collecting days was 97 so um let's go ahead and rip a box of these open since we were going to do it anyways. I definitely remember seeing these packs. They're like definitely recycled paper there. And we'll probably throw one of these in a break as well at some point. I have uh, a lot of boxes um, laying around now. So a mixer break will be coming up. I might even start doing two breaks a week. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I have a, a lot of stuff to liquidate here. Tons of stuff everywhere. I need to clean up this room. But we only have 18 packs here. So... Let's start ripping these. Check out who we can get. Uh, there's really no rookie cards in uh, Series 1 of this set. The David Ortiz is a big one. And Young Buck says, just pulled a David Ortiz rookie card in Upper Deck yesterday. That's sick. So I do remember these. This is very like the very last year I collected cards whenever I was younger. We'll check out who we get. And then uh, if anyone wants to buy these afterwards, we'll sell them off. Like I said, I mostly collect rookie cards nowadays. Um... I have so many singles laying around and uh, junk wax air cards and everything else. It's a nice Wade Boggs card. But mostly we are looking for Chano Park, looking for insert cards in here. Chet Lemon says at least you don't have to worry about these sticking together. Yeah, these definitely don't. These are these are the ones I remember them being. Uh, looks like we have an insert card right off the bat here. Um, it's a Juan Gonzalez. It's a pretty cool one. Never seen these before. Team leader, Juan Gonzalez. 1997 Fleer. That's kind of cool. I feel like I've been pulling a lot of Juan Gonzalez insert cards lately. Lately, Not sure what the value on that one is. Um, it's kind of weird. Dan Schultz says, Brittany, you coming over to supervise the cleanup of the oven room? <laughs> Yeah, I got a fan blowing on me in here, Dan, but it is still hot. The old oven room. Lando Merced. I used to like him a lot when he first came on the scene. And here's another rookie card, Jermaine Allensworth. I definitely remember him, Jermaine Allensworth. I don't think he really ever panned uh, out to be too much after the Buccos. Can't remember even where he went after the Buccos or if he even went anywhere at all. That was a nice Sandberg card there. Not sure if um, Ted Davis has that one or not. He's a big Sandberg fan. Paul says he was garbage with Montreal. Yeah, Jermaine Allensworth. Casey Lewis says 100 degrees today in California. That's crazy, man. It was pretty hot here, too. It uh, eventually cooled off. Jeff Bagwell. So we'll have 18 packs of these. Rip them open, see if we can find the insert cards. This is an A-Rod checklist card there. And Joseph C. says he wasn't much with the Buckos. Joseph C. is actually pretty close to where we were at. JGW says, I hate these cards. John Smoltz. There's a nice Derek Jeter. It's a good one. 64 degrees in Colorado, Darren Covered says. And there's Eric Plonk. And I don't think any of us ever liked Derek Plonk. Always had some sort of hideous face in all his cards. Never cared for him. 
Yeah, at least these don't stick together though. Nice Pudge Rodriguez there. Another insert card coming up. And it looks like it's an Eddie Murray. So Hall of Famer Eddie Murray, Golden Memories card. Uh, that's a nice one. Joseph C says, I'll be down your way tomorrow. Nice insert card. It's a nice thing about uh, the older Fleer sets or boxes. I feel like they always had, they're always good for producing insert cards. I'm not sure what the value on that one is, but still pretty cool. So a couple insert cards so far, the first few packs. Like that Juan Gonzalez, it's a nice card. Austin says, do you collect foreign coins? If I can find my collection, I'll have to send it. Um, I don't really have any coins at all. Um, not saying I really, I don't, I don't really, I never really got into collecting coins. Uh, Eric and I did when we were younger. Uh, we always used to have like Buffalo nickels and stuff like that. But um, haven't really bought any in a very long time. Some Hall of Famers in here, and Alex Ochoa, uh, Rookie Sensations card there. Not really any value to that. Cool design, though. There's a nice Biggio and Frank Thomas, so pretty cool. Randy Johnson. And... Back-to-back -back John Jaha cards. Something you expect out of the junk wax era, not 97. But these uh these packs are really weird too. You know, like paper mache almost. So I'm still looking for some more insert cards. Nice Chipper Jones. So we're getting some nice Hall of Famers and stars out of these packs. Though for five bucks, it's still pretty fun, anyways. There's what the back looks like there. Pretty bland. Nothing too crazy. John says our, lo our closest local card shop is 65 miles away. Wow. I believe that's uh, that Mike Cameron. It's not his rookie card, though. His rookie year is 94. Another Juan Gonzalez. Galarraga. Mo Vaughn. Nice star pack here. Wendell McGee Jr. There's a lot of hype about him, I want to say, in the, the mid-90s. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray there, and then here's that repeat again, two Jason Giambis in a row, and Dave Justice, and then truth be told, the subscriber to your truth, truth be told loves Dave Justice, huge fan. Guido says that's a good pack, yeah, it definitely was a nice pack. Chet Lemons is a card shop near the one even turn the lights on until someone enters. <laughs> Cliff Floyd, Chuck Knobloch, Sandy Almar Jr. And Brad Osmond, awesome. nothing too great. It's a mess in the card shop. Nothing newer than 2003 or so. That's interesting. There's definitely a card shop Eric and I went to that was like that too. Paul says Chuck, new kids on the knob block. Raul, prison time, Mondesi, Rod Beck. And a Chipper Jones checklist card there. And Andre Dawson. Hunter says, do you collect antique toys? Yeah, I definitely do. It all depends on what kind of toys they are. If they're, uh, I don't know, older. Like, if they're, like, 70s and earlier, I don't really collect toys from that from that era. Just mostly 80s and 90s. Another Chipper Jones card there. Second one we've seen out of these packs. Hoping for some nice uh, inserts. Todd Zeal. Ollie Bo, his day is coming up in a few weeks. Million dollar day. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if card shops are making a comeback or it's just because we introduced ourselves back to the scene. But, and you know, you got to drive a little bit to find them. But I feel like they're popping up more now. Back to back Sheffields. We have an insert card coming up in here, too. Um, that looks kind of nice, actually. I'll save that for last. Steve Finley. Hunter says, I collect toys in the 30s and 40s. That's pretty awesome. Here's the insert. It's Mike Piazza. Nice. Night Day. It's a hologram card. It's pretty cool. Mike Piazza, probably one of the best ones in the set, honestly. It's a nice card. like that one a lot. Mike Piazza Night Day card. Chris Rivers is a nice, nice insert card. It's definitely a good one. 
Guido says Wicked Cool Insert. Yeah, I've never seen those before. Our A Rod there. Al Martin, Todd Walker. That was a nice Wakefield. Always liked Tim Wakefield. Brian Giles. Um, not his rookie year. I want to say second year card. He used to like Brian Giles when he was on the Buckos. Three packs left. And we'll be out of here then. And yeah, looks like another insert card coming up in here. And it's a rookie sensation. Bobby Abreu, I want to say. Yep, it's a Bobby Abreu. Not as rookie, but second year card. It's a pretty nice one. Definitely used to have that one when I was younger. Bobby Abreu. Hey, see you, Tim. Thank you for stopping in by. Appreciate it. Actually, no, you are right. 95 Bowman is Bobby Abreu's rookie card. So that's actually a third year card. Javi Lopez, hopefully see some of his rookie cards get pulled out of 91 Bowman on Tuesday. If you guys are around, we'll be doing a 91 Bowman break. Two boxes of them. And Griffey Jr. Checklist, that's a nice one too. Barry Larkin and Andrew Jones Checklist cards. So that's a pretty good pack for the most part. One more pack left. Of 97 Fleer. JGW says, Sandy, should Sandy Anamar Jr. be in the hall? Um, I don't think he should be in the hall overall. It's a nice Hideo Nomo card. I used to love Hideo Nomo. Crime Dog McGriff there. Mike Sweeney, second year card, and a Mariano Duncan. So that is it for the 18 count box, 97 Fleer. And Trent Warren says, what are the odds on the pack for the night and day card? Um, let's check those out. McGriff should definitely be in the Hall of Fame, yes. The Night and Day card, um, it looks like one in every 240 packs. That's pretty wild, huh? One in every 240 packs. The rookie Sensation seemed to be the most common one in six packs. Um, the team leader, Juan Gonzalez, that we pulled, where are those at? One in 20 packs, so there's 28 of these cards. And uh, the McGriff Gold Memories card is 1 in 16 packs. So pretty nice. The Piazza Night and Day card, that's a pretty nice one. 1 every 240 packs. Be curious to see what the value on that one is. I have an almanac right next to me. Just curious. Out of curiosity, let's check it out. See what the Piazza book's at if you're going Beckett ways, which a lot of people hate Beckett. But... Um, Probably not too much money, honestly. The Piazza books is six bucks in the Beckett. In the Almanac. So, like I said, I'm going to sell all these cards if you guys are interested. Uh, start the auction at five bucks, and I'll ship them out to you uh, tomorrow or the next day. If not, no big deal. I'll put them on my PC, but the Piazza is probably a good one. Uh, six dollar book value on that one but one every 240 packs pretty sweet so if you, any of you guys are interested in buying the cards you just saw on here uh start the auction of five bucks if you're not interested we will call tonight and go uh, part our ways now i'll try and clean up my giant messy toy room slash baseball card room because it's an absolute mess Mint 1952 mantle says kahoot uh, we don't have any more questions on Kahoot due to the error earlier. Uh, shipping on these, I'd like to ship them first class because these are like recycled paper. So, let me see what these weigh out at. Maybe we can ship them first class and it'll only be like five bucks. Yeah, they won't be able to be shipped first class. They're gonna have to be priority mail. Be priority mail for those. Um, but five dollars plus the shipping, depending on where you live. But some pretty nice cards in there, especially the Piazza Night and Day card. And like I said, the if you're a Patreon patron. Um, 
91 Bowman Break will be live tonight. You guys will have first dibs on the eight different slots available. And 91 Bowman has Tommy Rookie, uh, Pudge Rodriguez Rookie, Mike Mussina, Javi Lopez, Eric Karras, Jeff Bagwell. There's so many good cards in, uh, in that set. It's really stock full of rookies, and that's only just a few of them. And those are probably the best ones, but there's still others in there as well. So keep an eye out for that. But I'm going to go ahead and keep these in my PC. doesn't seem like too many people are that interested in them. Not a big deal. Um, but appreciate you guys for joining me tonight. Hopefully you liked all of the cool stuff that uh, I picked up over the weekend. And um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. I really appreciate your support, everyone. And thank you for the super chats. Uh, Darren Comfort said five bucks. So I guess we will go ahead and do the auction five bucks anybody else want to partake in buying these cards so five bucks um is what we're at now that's what i paid for the box so shipping sucks i wish some of you guys were local and we could just do transactions in person it'd be a lot easier but um unfortunately usps keeps raising their shipping rates which is complete crap but thank you guys for joining us tonight JGW, um, I can't accept m money in the mail. If I could, I would. I've had problems with that in the past, so I don't do it anymore. I've had people sit there and mail me money and I don't get it. And the other person's not interested, and yeah, it's just a big mess. Eric is not live, live streaming later, as far as I know. Um, I think he might have a flea market video or something like that. Thanks anyways for your interest, JGW. I appreciate it, but yeah, too many problems with that in the past. My brother's doing a standard video later. So Darren Comfort, um, the cards are yours for five bucks, and um, send me an email if you can. Shipping to you, um, it's probably gonna be like, I don't know, eight bucks out there to Colorado. But if you want to send me an email, if you if you're still interested in those, I'll send them out to you. Hopefully tomorrow, or the next day, and we'll just do the transaction on PayPal. But thank you guys all again for joining me. Really appreciate it. Thank you for everything, and keep an eye out for the Patreon um, break tonight, and I'll see you guys all on Turn Back the Clock Tuesday.